Today Blackmagic released the first raw files from the Blackmagic Digital Cinema Camera. Now, with these files, uh, they're quite large and they're individually numbered and basically uh, Blackmagic has designed it so that you work with their program called Resolve in order to edit these files. Now, because the files are so huge, even with the fastest computer or the computer with the most storage, I mean, we're talking tens of terabytes, a camera that will record so much data, you're going to have a hard time finding a solution for storing the files. That's why a few months ago I made a small scripted GUI that basically runs Cineform's DPX to Cineform, which is a DOS-based uh, file program. And so now that the, the DNG files have been released, you can test this utility with the Blackmagic files. What are the benefits of using Cineform compared to uh, just sticking with DNG? Uh, number one, it's much, much easier to edit and store the footage. It's about a tenth of the size. Number two, the, the biggest reason to convert to Cineform is you can keep a raw file. Now, I could go through the settings, but I'll go through this more in depth as the camera actually comes out and I actually get my hands on the camera. But if you're testing it right now, um, make sure that you change the file folder. Make sure that you just have a file folder that doesn't have a space in it. I'll fix that problem later, but right now the, the program will crash out if you save it to a, a file folder that has a space and then continuation. It's a DOS thing and I'll, I'll fix it at some point in the future if Cineform doesn't come out with their own utility to do the same thing. Um, back to the benefits of Cineform. Cineform lets you keep the file raw but in a compressed raw state. And so with that you can use a program like Cineform's First Light and be able to change things on the fly and edit your footage while still keeping it raw and being able to grade it raw later. Um, some people say that because of the storage space size of DNG that they're just going to stick with ProRes on the camera. Well, honestly, due to the sensor size and uh, you know the limitations of ProRes, if you just go straight ProRes, you lose everything that's great about RAW. You'll have a locked-in ISO, a locked-in white balance, and you'll still get the great dynamic range of the picture but you're going to get a fully baked in to Bayard image. With going with Cineform, you can record RAW, you can transfer that RAW to your hard drives, converting to Cineform just as fast as it would take to copy those files over to your computer. Cineform's encoder is fantastic. It's multi-core enabled, uh, very quick and easy to edit. It's been around for years and I, I highly recommend it. So I'm going to place links again if you haven't downloaded it or haven't tested it into the information below and then you can get started playing with some of the raw files of this camera.